You might be trying to share a file or folder from SharePoint or OneDrive with someone, but you don't see the share with anyone option available for you. If you have this problem, I'll show you how you can fix this. By default, when you create a new Microsoft 365 account, files and folders aren't allowed to be shared to outside users. So users outside of your organization that's turned off by default. And every time you create a new group or team, the same when you first create the whole Microsoft 365 account, is that there's a SharePoint site created or associated with that group, team, and even your whole organization-wide account. So this is like an example. And you could think of SharePoint as just a place where Microsoft stores your files for collaboration. It's kind of like a OneDrive but SharePoint is for shared files, okay, that kind of no one owns by group or your organization owns, All right? So we have documents, notebook here. So these aren't allowed to be shared by default as well, okay? Only internally within your organization or the team and maybe with specific guests, but it can't just be shared with anyone, okay? That anyone option will be blocked for you. So right now I'll show you how to change that permission in Microsoft's admin center so that you could share this with anyone. All right, first I'll show you how to change this setting for your entire organization. And it'll co it should copy through to your other teams and groups that you have, but let's just change it first for the entire organization. So we go to admin.microsoft.com and let's click show all. We want to get to the SharePoint admin center. And then here in the left sidebar, we navigate to policies, sharing, and typically, so this is already turned on for this one, but typically you will have something like this. So SharePoint is within your organization and then existing guests and new guests, but not anyone. So all you want to do, and you just bring this up and for OneDrive as well, allow others in your organization to share from their OneDrive as well. And then if we go here under file and folder links, so this is just kind of the default link that you get when you kind of right click on the file to copy the link to share with someone. So I will keep this for people in your organization is probably best. It's just a default link it will work only for people in your organization, but you can always change it to anyone if you need to. Okay. But by default, it just keeps it like this. So there's just a couple other settings you can change if you want to, but we don't need to get into that. The default things are fine here. Maybe one more thing to note is you can click here to more external sharing settings and you could specify a specific group that's only allowed to share with anyone. Okay, so maybe by default, all employees are not allowed to share company files, right? These SharePoint files with anyone. And you can check mark this right here to have a specific group. They're called security groups because they have different levels of security. So you could create a security group that may be only managers or you know, admins can actually share links with anyone, but everyone else is restricted not to. So you would go here and you would add that. Well, you have to create this actually outside of here. You have to create that security group already, and then you can add it here. So let me know if you, if you need a video on that, let me know in the comments, like I can make one for you. So I'll uncheck this. And if you did modify this, just go ahead and click save here at the bottom. And now I'll show you how to change the external sharing options of files and folders for specific groups or teams. Okay, so not organization-wide, kind of a level down here. So if you have like a billing team and you just want to allow that team to be able to share your SharePoint files with external users, this is how you would do it. And right now we're in SharePoint Admin Center and this through SharePoint Admin Center, you have the most options here. And it's also required if you want to change specific settings for Teams channels. So if you're familiar with Microsoft Teams, you can also create sub like channels within that team. So if you want to, you know, define sharing of files at that level, then you have to do this in SharePoint Admin Center. Otherwise, you can skip this part and go to the next section where I talk about changing this in just Microsoft's Admin Center. So then here we just go to Sites and click on Active Sites. Okay, so here just select the group or team that you're trying to change this for or even channel. So let's go ahead and click on this online retail group. We want to go to settings. Then here under external file sharing, you want to hit this drop down and select anyone. Now that allows for these files to be shared to anyone. And the same way you can actually restrict the permissions more and only, you know, the most restrictive ones, only people in your organization. So we'll allow anyone. And you see this link down here, more sharing settings. So you can actually click here 
And this even gives you more refinement, more options. And this is only in the SharePoint Admin Center. So again, first of all, we actually want to reselect this that we want to share with anyone. Here under advanced settings, we can limit sharing by domain. So let's say maybe only a certain company, right, with if their email address is, you know, user at apple.com. Okay, we're going to share with them, but no other domain. So you can you can click add domains. And you can either allow specific ones or maybe someone's bothering you. You can you can block uh, certain domains that you want to make sure someone doesn't share with with them there. Okay, so again, this is specific just for this group. So all of these inherit your organization level settings, but you can uncheck it and change this as you need to. So the default ones are fine and they're kind of self-explanatory, so I won't waste time there. The only thing to mention again is the default sharing link type. So again, right now it follows and it's for people in your organization. But again, if you selected anyone here, this is just the default link and that can be changed. Okay, so you don't need to worry about that. If you restrict it here though, right, maybe this is only for, say, only people in your organization. Even if you select this, like, or anyone, well, actually, here we go. You can't select anyone anymore, okay? Because this is, this is not selected. So anyone's here, and now you can make the default to be the link that you copy always be the one that's shared with anyone. But right now, we'll just keep it the same as the organization level. Okay, then here, you just click Save. Okay, so now for the simple sharing settings, you can just go to Microsoft 365 Admin Center, right? So admin.microsoft.com. Then go to Teams and Groups and Active Teams and Groups. And in a similar way, we just go here, we find the one we want to change. So our group here is called Online Retail that we're working with. So at the top, click the Settings tab. And also under External File and Sharing, just click Anyone, right? So you don't have any more advanced options here. That's as simple as it is. So we'll just click Save. Okay, and it'll give you this green notification that changes are saved. So you can close this. Okay, and now let's go back to our SharePoint site for this group and see what that looks like now. Okay, so this I'm just within some documents here. And let's say I want to copy the link. Okay, so first of all, we see that it's uh, the default is to the organization here. However, of course, we can go now to settings and you see this option, anyone, Oh, look at that, we can, we can use it now, okay? So share with anyone, doesn't require sign-in. That's kind of the difference with guests. Uh, if you do other guests and stuff, you, you would, they would need to require sign-in. So anyone is quite open, we can still change other settings. So right now people can edit this folder, maybe I just want it, they can view, or maybe they can view and not even download it, okay? Although a savvy person can still download it. We can set an expiration date, okay? It only works till a couple days. We can even give someone a password. So even though it's for anyone, they don't need a sign-in, but maybe they need a password that we'll give them. So I'm going to get rid of this though. Let's click apply, all right? And we can just copy this link now. So with this link, it's giving you a summary that anyone can view it, but they can't download because that's what we set. And that's all. Please like this video and subscribe if it helped you out. And if you have any comments or questions on what I showed you here today, post it in the comment section below. Thanks for watching, take care.